This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see me analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, a lot of people are asking me, do I think that these bad actors could continue manipulating the stock market forever? Can they keep manipulating AMC and GME play forever? Let me tell you guys something. I don't lose no sleep over the AMC and GME play anymore. You know why? Because I know that these bad actors are in deep trouble. I know these AMC, GME, Rico conspirators are in deep trouble. They want us to think that they can do it forever, but they can't. They can't. Look at what's going on. They have read the art of war and they're trying to appear strong when they're weak as hell. Okay? Citadel had to borrow money again and again and again. They had to bring in a partner. Is that the actions of a company that's strong? No, that's not the act the the, the actions of a company that's strong. That's a actions of a company that's hanging on by their fingernails. Citadel had to restrict clients from withdrawing their money and penalize them. Would you be doing that if you were strong? No, you wouldn't be doing that because people would be fighting to give you their money. People would be fighting to give you their money. And you know how they try to pay strong? Oh, that, that they made all this money. They're the most lucrative hedge fund in the history of the market. Absolute nonsense. They have $65 billion in shares sold, not yet purchased. Which, in any other industry, it would be debt. It would be considered debt. How can you owe $65 billion and claim that you made $32 billion in profits? I mean, it makes absolutely no sense. But... They have these special accounting rules for the securities industry. And of course, you know, they're the ones that created these accounting rules so that they can appear to be making money when they are deeply in debt. And then they try to hide those shares sold, not purchased in swaps to make it look like, like they've been paying off the shares sold, not yet purchased, like they've been covering them when they have not. Okay, then they claim that they're going to be building the biggest commercial space in, in New York. Everyone who knows anything about New York City now, the commercial real estate market is in the dumps. They are brand new spaces that don't have enough customers to rent the spaces. You have a whole bunch of vacant commercial spaces in New York. Anybody who is planning on creating or building new commercial spaces from scratch in New York City is going to be losing money. It's not going to happen. There are brand new developments that are empty, that are empty, but they're putting out all this news that they're doing great. They're putting out all this news that, that they're strong when in fact they're just following art of war, appear strong when you are weak they are having liquidity issues a lot of these bad actors that are naked shorting amc and gme are having liquidity issues they can't do this forever and i'm not telling you to buy hold or sell amc i'm not telling you to buy hold or sell gme i'm telling you that based on everything i'm seeing from these naked shorters they are desperate as hell they're trying to pair strong when they are weak who would continue to violate the law like this when everybody's watching unless you had no choice? Okay, the reason they're doing this, they don't have a choice because if AMC or GME runs, they're done. The game is over. Their business is kaput. They will have to file bankruptcy or go run into the feds asking for taxpayer bailouts. And they know this. They know this, and I believe 
when the cat system starts releasing data, they're all going to be in trouble. And I believe it's going to be so outrageous that the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI are going to be forced to do something about it. So while they're trying to appear strong, while they're trying to appear that they can do this forever, they can't. And everything I'm seeing tells me the jig is almost up. And the bad actors, the GME, AMC, Rico conspirators are going to be brought to justice very, very soon. And hopefully when that happens, AMC and GME will start to run and start trading at their real market price. Not this manipulated price because of the billions of counterfeit shares that the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI know that these criminals are pumping in the market and they do absolutely nothing. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think these naked shorters, these AMC, GME, Rico conspirators are strong or they're just acting like they're strong because they're following the teachings in art of war? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.